Hello to everyone and thank you for joining us today. So I will start the webinar with the application div about the camera development for the high tech industrial. So, so today's agenda, we will go through the introduction about the CyberNet group and also our principal NCs in corporate. So next, we will go to the design and challenge and also the workflow about the camera development for the high tech. So the workflow, we will split into three categories. First is the optical development workflow. And second is the image development workflow. And lastly is the system analysis workflow. So we will show how the NCS optical solution provide a full set solution in the optical product design. So uh, here is the CyberNet Group Global Network Net. So CyberNet Malaysia is a subsidiary full owned by the CyberNet System Company Limited headquarter in Tokyo, Japan. So we established. 38 years ago since 1985 and Cybernet's partnership with the NCS also has a long history. So we also have another two subsidiary uh, which is the Cybernet in China and also Cybernet in Taiwan. So in the Euro A region and also the North America region, we have the Symmetrix and Microsoft and the Neosys solution. So it is also the part of the CyberNet group. And let's back to the CyberNet system Malaysia. So the mission of system CyberNet Malaysia is expand our solution in the Southeast Asia with the local customer support. So the CyberNet system Malaysia specialize in the computer edge uh, engineering solution and digital transformation such as the IoT and a big data solution. And we also provide the engineering service training and consultation in multi-domain. So we also the channel partner of NCS in Southeast Asia country region. So here is the engineering service we list out and the other service we have do. But here is the analysis and the lens design analysis to optimize the intolerance manufacturability and also CyberNet provide the optical scattering measurement service and we also provide the optic studio learning pack for the beginner as a kickstart for the new user so next we go to the our principal which is NCS. So NCS is the largest simulation software provider in the world the, and has grown both organically as well as through the strategy, acquisition and partnership. So in the area of optic and photonic, the uh, three quick acquisition in the last five years have provided complete. So the end-to-end -end optics simulation portfolio so first in 2018, so NCS already acquisition the optics which brought this pure system. So it's a system level ray tracing tools. Then in 2020, uh, NCS brought over the portfolio for the photonic solver and enabling the simulation and design for of the nanometer scale geometry using a full wave simulation technical. So this is the numerical. And finally, with the ZMAX in 2021, so which brought the world-class sequential and non-sequential ray tracing tools for optical component optimization with uh, emphasis on the imaging system. So here is the multi-physics. So that is the complete system the NCS content for the CAE, but for today we only focus on the optical, which is the ZMAX and the SPURE, and also the photonic, which is a numerical. So 
uh, here is the end-to-end -end coverage full optics portfolio uh, in the NCS. So uh, first, these three optics and photonic simulation product group provide a full multi-scale of multi-physics platform enabling engineer to design from nano scale up to the system scale. So uh, containing many types of multi-physics effect. So NCS optic, the family of this capability allow for not only simulation capability within each of these vertical, but also provide means of connecting the tools together to solve even more complex problem. So what is the benefit of using N6 optical solution? So by using the full set of the N6 optical simulation tools, they provide a number of engineering benefits as shown in here. So first, the individual tools provide best-in-class capability in their respective design environment. So second, leveraging all the NCS optics tools allow for the company to leverage a single point of contact for support and also for providing guidance and expertise. And lastly is the solving complex problem that require bridge between the photonic solver and the ray tracing tools or even between different type of ray tracing tools and this is providing seamless workflow and simplified data exchange methodology. So uh, next we will start with the overview design challenge and also the workflow for the camera design for high tech. So here is the design challenge we listed in yellow. So a uh, small form factor camera module are pervasive in everyday life from the smartphone to the drone and also to the draw bell. So all these technology all contain a host of high tech optical system and require robust imaging performance. Okay, so however, there is some challenging for the engineer to make all these small form factor camera, such as increasing the demand for the miniature region and the high volume low cost injection mode optics and the complex lens profile and molding arrangement and this the wide view of view and the integration with a high resolution sensor lastly is the internal and external heat management so the even deepening integration of optics into consumer electronic bring with it a unique set of challenge with the entire device sector in consumer electronic having this miniaturization it is imperative the camera and sensor on this device keep us so so here is the design challenge tax engineering and the development resource increase cost and delay the time to the market. So for example, uh, just now we have a denaturalization. So for this increasing complex optic and packaging constraint increase the development time and also we reduce the time to promote our product to the market. So we required a closer multi-phasic collaboration among the engineering team. So next is the high volume optics. So maybe we increase importance on the tolerancing analysis due to the bit consequent. If a run fail, the money and time resetting the manufacturing line. And next is the complex lens profile mounting arrangement. So for this, we assembly the physical prototype can be tedious and the time consuming, relatively sensitive designs subject to stress from mounting age. So for the wide F, the field of view, 
So increase the development time to maintain the imaging performance over this full view of view. So including the integration of the image processing algorithm for the apparition correction. So another challenge is the sensor integration. The last stage error identification during assembly process can be costly also. And last is the heat management on the product operating. So the optic are signature selling point for many devices. So damage of optics or degradation of image quality can undermine value proposition. Okay. So here we will discuss the overall workflow for the camera development. So as you see here, uh, first we're considering the optics development the first steps typically to design the optimize the lens stack so which is a camera lens here we step together and after that uh, an initial design of a lens stack and auto mechanical packaging concept is established uh, which is the second stage we combine the casing which is the auto mechanical mechanical package and third um, we will and further analyze the design uh, such as the straight line analysis and also the structural thermal optical so the straight line analysis is the ghost light or the image unwanted light source into the image sensor and the star module we use to analyze if the product facing any temperature changer are they having the deformation on the structure or the thermal changes on the reflective index of the lens so in parallel so there is there will be trace focus on the image development and analysis so this can involve the optimization one or more micro components such as the micro lens array and also the color filter uh, meta lens can also be involved in order to reduce the total number of components so here we go to the image development so in this design will be done in the numerical so we first design the lens in the micro lens array so we need to optimize in the numerical after that we put in the color filter optimization to get the final result on the sensor and finally is the system analysis we get all these straight line analysis the star analysis data and also the image data we put into SPIOR and we form a system to make the environment integration and also the scene visualization so uh, from here you can see the real things without prototyping the product design so uh, this thing can be built in the 3D environment and also we can test the field of view assessment and also impact on different environment lighting what is the outcome from the taken from the image sensor okay so here is the the indicator so for the optical development uh, all these steps we were done in the zmax and the gray color here the system analysis we are done in pure and last is the numerical which is the image development okay so let's start with the optical development workflow so uh, first is the lens stack optimization so the optical development workflow begin with here and from the selected starting point in the ZMAX we have about over 600 of design template catalog 
So uh, this is a good starting point for the designer. If they don't have experience, they can choose the ready map uh, design from the design template. And from here, the designer can either assign the material directly from the manufacturer or input their own custom data. And the designer assign parametric variable to be used by both local and global optimizer and which are built into Optic Studio. And the optical performance standard can be traced and visualized during optimization with a push button and an disease. In, include the list of the slide and many more. So this is all built on the comprehensive API. So we can use the automation like the ZOP API and it is connect to the MATLAB, Python, Mathematica, and also the C++ and the C Sharp. Okay. So here next is the lens tolerancing. So at this point, the designer has selected suitable starting point and optimize specific parameter to meet the system and performance specification. However, the designer still need to account for the real world manufacturing and assembly defect that could affect the system performance. So this means introducing the error in core from the base material composition and the surface from the during the part fabrication the alignment alignment also during the mounting and group alignment during the integration so the lens tech tolerancing engine and better in this zmx optic studio can help the user to account for all these all these kind of issue. So the Office Studio offer two primary type of tolerancing analysis. So which is the sensitivity or inverse sensitivity for the worst of offender. And the second analysis type is the Monte Carlo, uh, which is manufacturing use. We analyze for this parameter. So, mm, the sensitivity analysis in Optic Studio put up the single attribute of a single optical element in the system at a time. So this serves to isolate the most sensitive manufacturing parameter on each optical element, uh, which put the entire system performance at risk. So the second is the Monte Carlo tolerancing analysis. So this will apply set of error to the entire system uh, before we recording the performance result. Uh, this is done iteratively across the custom error distribution to aggregate the data band of the system. So performance across all possible combination of a specific error and for the small volume view this data band give the designer insight into the worst case scenario so this can reduce the risk of a failed view for large volume production design uh, this data band is also used to predict the percent use of the system that will meet the specification during manufacturing as well as insight into the overall performance distribution across all the system view. So both analysis tools offer the flexible performance criteria to trace the during evaluation. So including all this, the wave front error, the MTF, which is the modulation transfer function and the both side and also we can use the user define okay and next
next is the auto mechanical design. So once the lens stack has been optimized and tolerance, the next step is to add the to the mechanical housing. So the mechanical housing represent the mounting structure for the lens and how the lens will be held together. So the optical design can be seamlessly transitioned into the CAD environment, uh, such as the creo parametric or the space clamp. So while maintaining the material definition, the light source, and also the sensor position. So the optical performance can be then evaluated while the mounting structure are developed. So this allows for quick iteration between the optical design and also the auto mechanical design. So next is the straight line analysis. So with the lens stack optimized and also the auto mechanical housing in place. So one of the key analysis to perform is to look for the stray light. So this involves looking the presence of any light path other than the primarily intended ray and which could be either double reflection between the lenses, uh, typically known as the lens flux, and or the reflection of the mechanical component. And this light path can be essentially considered as a noise source, uh, which is degrade the quality of the image on the camera sensor and analysis tools are available to not only detect the presence of straight light but also to visualize the ray path and to assess the contribution of different sequence with this information in hand and change can be mapped to either the optical assembly or the mechanical assembly to try and mitigate the issue. Okay. So uh, next is the structure thermal optic performance, which is the star module. So after the analysis of the straight line, so we already uh, remove all the unwanted lighting to affect our imaging quality. So next, we need to evaluate the thermal impact and also the deformation when the thermal on the system. So here is the analysis trace performance degradation due to the source of the stress and also heat in both the system and the environment. So the ZMAX star module in the Office Studio can be used to import the FEA, which is the fit non uniform data set to the sequential surface inside the Optic Studio. So, this FEA data is the ASCII format, so we can import from any the mechanical software that can be able to simulate the FEA data set. So, the designer can then use the any sequential analysis in the office studio to trace the changes to the system performance. So the entire star module is integrated into the ZOS API for the routing automation within the optic studio. So here is the further automation. Further automation we can using the optics length. So optics length can be incorporated into the stock workflow to connect the optical and the mechanical simulation tools and automate the larger workflow between them. So the optics length enable the robust design and also the optimization across simulation platform by 
introducing the cross environment sensitivity analysis, the robustness analysis, and the built in optimizer. So, this enables engineers to easily explore the trace space of their design and identify the optimal design parameter to meet all the system specification. So next we will go to the image development workflow. So this workflow will be done in the ANSYS numerical. Okay. So for this, uh, major later we were done in the FDTD, the finite domain time, the 3D electromagnetic solver. So including all the optical material properties and the geometry of the pixel structure. Okay. So the important consideration include the color filter spectral properties and also the micro lens parameter. So as we looking to the minimize scattering from the metallization region the, and the optical close top between the subpixels, uh, measuring the light absorption in the silicon substrate allow us to calculate the optical efficiency, which is the ratio of the incident light that is subsequently converted to charge carrier. So to more accurately um, determine the response, we need to look at the electronic charge transport using the numerical charge solver. So to determine of how many of the generated charge carrier are collected, so as well as the electronic close top between the subpixels. So the ratio of the collector to generate the carrier is the internal quantum efficiency. And combining of the IQE, the internal quantum efficiency, and also the optical efficiency, we will result the very accurate measurement of the pixel response. So we did not as the external quantum efficiency, the EQE. So employing the transient electronic simulation or coupling charge transport with the thermal solver allow us to look the signal to noise ratio and the dark current and the thermal dependent performance of the system. Okay. So uh, here the first level is the first layer is the micro lens. Second layer we put on the color filter and third layer is the metallization and last we put on the silicon substrate and the dropping. So as the performance require drive the pixel miniaturization, the need for a full physics based design solution become more imperative using numerical in your computer edge design workflow allow you to explore cutting edge process such as the light guide the backside illumination, the pixel isolation, or split pixel design to address the performance requirement and understand the limitation before financially committing to any given design. So additionally, it allow you to reduce the number of prototyping and allow different design team to work together together using the NC solution. So this could include the designing of optical system, uh, the pixel sensor together, or by reducing the development cycle with a high fidelity synthetic image uh, before the final device are assembled. 
So uh, this will be the last part for the system analysis workflow, uh, which we combine just now the optic studio result and also the result from the ANSYS Lumerica. Okay. And we use the 3D to visualize the actual scenario, including the environment. So for this system level analysis, the full 3D scene visualization, we will combine the optical subcomponent model of the lens tech coming from the optic studio and the image from the numerical. Uh, like the micro lens and the color filter we discussed just now and together with the 3D object and the environment lighting from the spiel so to create a synthetic camera image so this enables us to capture the highest fidelity physics model for each aspect of simulation used to ensure the system level analysis as accurate as possible. Okay. So uh, here is a module to export the pure lens system. So which is the design when we done in the optic studio, and then we can export all this data into the spios, and the spio also can reverse the data can export back to the optic studio so this function is available uh, 2022 the version of the optic studio uh, okay so in order to simulate the optical performance um, capturing all the necessary optical phenomenon coming from the lens design so we use the tools and this allows us to essentially pre-simulate the lens stack and extract the stack of information that is used to drive the pure camera simulation. So this pure lens system can be exported directly from the Optic Studio. And the information, the basic information can be the optical system like the focus length and the aperture size, view of view, uh, and also some of the phenomenon like the distortion, uh, vignetting, or we call it relative illumination, and also the shift in entrance pupil's position based on the object angle, the resolution and depth of view focus. So uh, with the pure lens system in hand, the workflow and the pure is very straightforward. Simply import the CAD model containing the 3D object and the environment and set up the material and the lighting and uh, run the camera simulation. So several different types of output are available. Uh, such as simple pixel grid projection let us quickly assess the field of view of the camera roll, including where the pixels will fall within the scene and how many pixels we have on the different target in ta different location and the second is the geometric camera roll simulation and this will give us the pictorial representation of the field of view based on the optical performance so this allows us to quickly check whether certain objects are within the field of view and also visualize any occlusion area so that is the photometric simulation go one step further so leverage the material properties apply to the object and added the environmental or the artificial lighting 
uh, as the environment lighting. So lastly is the NIR emitter for and the camera simulation. So here is the electronic per pixels example to zoom in the image. So it's a photometric analysis in the spion simulation. So it provides the raw irradiant per pixels on the image sensor, including the separation per incident angle if necessary. So the raw irradiant can be then converted into an electron map uh, or the raw image based on the EMVA 128 standard. So uh, last is the image processing. So all this is managed by the pure sensor system exporter. So which is post processing tools used to convert the raw irradiant acquired to the simulation into one or more output map as shown on the right, the exposure map, the raw image and also the final image. Okay. So the post process can be generate or can be unique to different sensor supplier. Uh, 